All right, and we're back. So anyway, the story though, um, like I want to like Final Fantasy VIII, but there's just like such terrible writing in the actual story that it is just uh, Morty. Also, it is uh, <laughs> Jesus. That it is like. It's, oh God! Ugh. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get some flock for this, but like, like around the first, I want to say like 20 hours in this game, which yeah, like we'll get to that in a second. But you probably play and talk. Yeah. Anyway, like around the 20 hours minute mark, wait, the 20 hour mark of the game, wh where like um, you come across this orphanage completely at random, and you find out like the characters that you've been steadily meeting throughout the course of that entire game, all grew up together in that in that exact same orphanage, like str like something straight out of Muppet Babies. Well, shit. And the main villain, which was Adina at the time, or Adia, Adia, yeah, Show me your stuff. And was playing the role of like the the nanny. And um, and like so, they're just like, oh wow, I guess we just forgot. I wonder why we don't remember our entire childhood. They have one character like pull the theory of like the monsters that they're fighting like make them progressively lose their memory. Oh yeah, the guardian forces. Yeah, something like that. And uh, they just proceed to ignore this for like the rest of the game and now become super conflicted to fight Ultimisha. Well, well, sure. And like, like first off, it's like a it's a complete and utter bullshit coincidence where like. And like apart Fuck from yourself, it, Walker. like apart from it from being completely stupid, there's literally no reason for it to be a thing theme-wise. Also, who in Square Enix US thought it was a good idea to name the White Seed the White Seed? Hmm? Yeah, that's the name of, like, the... I think it's, like, the... the you know, the seeds? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the White Seeds were, like, the Elite Seeds. Uh-huh. They named it White Seed. For real. Uh, I don't remember this. But then again, I also didn't finish the game, so I can't rightly say. But what happened was, um... It was during the same time frame as talking about their backgrounds. It was during that same conversation. Well, that. well then, maybe from the things we're fighting here, I just forgot it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> anyway, but no, like, um... Like, there, plus there's no real good way to go about, like, how... Oops, I just forgot my entire childhood. But the fact that they just have, like, one character, like... Pull the theory out of their ass, everyone just kind of rolls with it. Like, that's... Fuck you! Jesus, Jesus, fuck you! I don't think I can do the three on one of this. Well, we can try that a bit later. But anyway, um, back to this. Anyway, because, like, and the whole point of, like, showing a flashback from a storytelling perspective is to show how, like, a defective child, like, uh, Squall or, uh, or hell, even Quistus had a little bit of a fucked up past, was, um, was to show how they, like, grew up and became the way they are. But... Pretty much, they act like their exact. They act like themselves still, like as kids. It's like, fuck, uh, baby Looney Tunes or something, you know? Oh yeah. And like, and yeah, like I said, I'm more, I'm more concerned with the fact, like, even if they don't remember all this and they're just being reminded that they don't remember this, why are they conflicted to fight what's her name? Like, like she, like she wants to wipe out all time and space. Was a total bitch and almost killed all of us. But she was my babysitter from when I was four years old that I don't even remember. Hey, you know, and that's, this but, sounds this sounds like something you should save for a video about a review. Mm, I really don't want to finish that game though, to be honest. I mean, it has nothing to do with the fact that like the gameplay makes it like take forever to go through because of the stupid drawing system, or like the characters are completely inhuman and unlikable. God, I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this video, I have a feeling. Well, um, you wanna know my honest and very quick opinion of that game? Uh-huh. I fell asleep within the first 30 minutes of it. Wow. I fell asleep playing the game! <laughs> like, like, okay, playing it. I mean, as in, in the middle of a fight, my eyes shut and I woke up three hours later. I was still in the fight. Wow. Like, did you have it, like, on auto-draw or something, or did you have to keep doing it systematically? Um, no. I had to keep doing it systematically. Yeah, like, really, if I were to do... Really, if you guys want to know my thoughts on uh, Final Fantasy VIII, just watch, like, Spoonie's series of videos about it. But anyway, um... Fuck, where was I... What was I going with this? What were we talking about before this? Like... We were talking... We were talking about... The bad writing. Fuck, whatever. I don't even give a shit anymore. That game was boring as hell. The only characters I liked... Where Laguna? Oh yeah, Laguna was cool. Laguna, who had a gun and was like wisecracking and shit. 
Um, like, I don't even know how the two of them are related. Oh, yeah, spoilers on that, too, I guess. Selfie, who's awesome. I kind of like some of the designs, though. I like, I and, thought Irvine's design was kind of cool. And Zell. I like Zell. Oh, and Quistus. She looked like that, she looked like that, uh, she looked like that hot teacher everybody fantasized about. She was the hot teacher I fantasized about. <laughs> <laughs> like, she uses a whip. She has, like, the sexy librarian thing going on. And she has a room called the Discipline Room. There is one teacher, actually, that I remember when I was... There's actually only one teacher in my entire life that I can think of that I actually thought was in any way attractive, right? Uh-huh. And, um... Uh... Okay, so I didn't... So, like, I didn't know this till, uh... Like I said, I didn't play Final Fantasy before playing this game, so I didn't realize the inside jokes for all this. Like, oh, I yeah, think... Oh, the, yeah, the, the High Wind. Yeah. yeah, the High Wind was, like, a reference to I'm Sid's ship. I'm gonna call you... And, like, wasn't Excalibur, like, a reference to, I want to say, six? I think? I'm gonna call you Dude. Okay. All aboard the Dude. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are we going there, Jesse? Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, if I win, it'll be called the Dude Bro. <laughs> you know, suddenly Highwind sounds more appealing to me. Well, Highwind is, uh, the, well, since Sid is in here, it's from Final Fantasy VII. I, I believe Highwind is the name of other things. I haven't fully played Final Fantasy VI, but I played most of it. I know, uh, I know that's Kane's last name, too, so, like, what if they, what if, like, Sid was, like, a descendant of Kane? Uh, I don't think four and seven are related, but I believe no, ten but like, if... and seven are. Really? Yeah. How? Well, one character is literally named Shinra. Oh, wow, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot how to do this shit. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Run to yeah. the star tree. If I if I win, I'm captain. If you win, all right. Let's make a I pact get though. To hit it, hit huh? hit it up with Kyrie. All right. So let's make a pact on this one. If we lose this one, let's not do this over and over. But to do to do for like a whole part episode, because I really don't want to do that. We have a lot of other shit we got to do anyway in this. All right, go. Fuck off. Anyway, what was I talking about? Right. Anyway, like, <clears throat> but the thing is, like, that's, the, but like the fact that uh, that they remember that their main, the main villain is their babysitter that they don't remember. Fuck off. Free is goof. like, is like that was uh, what they were ultimately uh, taking uh, from that. Where I usually screwed up. And like, like you forgot your entire childhood, but that's not the red flag to you. Like, no. Run, run. Anyway. No! Jesse, come on! Anyway. Like, I'd be more concerned that something I was doing frequently was, like, just making me more stupid. Like, imagine you're watching this show on the internet. No! And it's, and it's just these two guys. No! It's just these two guys screaming at Don't you walk, a... you snarky son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck you! So ah! close. I'm okay. So close. I'm okay. I'm okay. But yeah. Take the fucking controller. But yeah, like, say you're just watching this series on the internet, and it's just these two guys screaming at Kingdom Hearts while we, while like one of us bitches about another game that you're watching to do with it. I mean, Not anyway. Pretend if you will. Yeah, pretend. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm getting another soda so I can yeah. slowly die from this. Have fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some more. Do I get water from this? No, you need to go to the waterfall. Okay. Wait, no, I actually gotta get the bottle from Kyrie first. Yeah. Alright, so... talk to Kiri. Kyrie. Kyrish. Ky Look at the Kyrish. Wait, 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 wait. You need something. Whoa, 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 I need, whoa, whoa, I need, whoa, to, whoa, I need whoa. to get something and I, I can hand it back to you. Okay. As long as it's not another race. What? Nothing. Never mind. Because you can re-race him. Oh. Anyway, um, there's only one teacher I think I've ever had, like, a sexual attraction towards in any way. <laughs> right, right. And, um, uh, surprisingly enough, it was, like, I, I haven't had many, I wouldn't say I haven't had many attractive female teachers, but just not any that floated my boat. Mm -hmm. But there was only one, and it was a male teacher who was married, and he was, like, my, uh, my composition teacher, or not composition teacher, like, uh, uh, comprehension teacher? I just didn't want to miss this. Huh. What, what, wait, what, what would you grab? Your first piece of equipment. Oh. Cool. Races defense by one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Alright. Um, you know, that's probably going to help because I think this next thing I'm going to do is try and go for the three of them. I'm pretty damn sure he's not going to watch this, but um, his name was Mr. DC, and uh, he always talked in this weird, like, 
mixture of Bob Ross and Carl Sagan. Really? Like the way he talked, not what he talked about. No, no, no. I, I got you. I got you. And uh, he looks like, let's see here. Hmm. I'm trying to think of okay. an actor that he looked like. He looked like an actor, but I forgot which one I thought of because I don't remember the actor. Well, think of well, think of who was relevant at the time when this was happening. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just remember I talked to him about Kingdom Hearts. Really? And philosophy. Huh. One time. I mean, there's a lot of that in this. I can say that. And um, I talked about it before Birth by Sleep came out and I thought of the whole willpower thing. And... I actually asked him what he thought the Heartless were, and he goes, well, I don't know, I don't play video games. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> like, we were having this long-ass conversation about it, too. We were talking about it, and I was, it was just like... So, in oh, other yeah, words, that was a deal-breaker for you, then, huh? just like, oh, yeah, that's really interesting, and all this other stuff. And as soon as he said that, I was just like, oh, my bone is gone. <laughs> yep, deal broken. <laughs> deal broken. That's one thing, like, as I got older, certain things don't matter too much about me, but if, like, whoever I'm with romantically doesn't doesn't like the thing that I love the most, I'm not sure that a relationship can come out. That's like a painter dating someone who hates art. Yeah, like, like, honestly, whoever I'm with, I don't mind if there's a couple things we disagree on, but, you know... Yeah. As long as, like, the primary stuff the is still... The fundamental things. The fundamental things, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Like, you know, you you both agree on certain as certain specific aspects and it works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's understandable. A lot of people say like, um Um opposites attract. Yeah. I really actually oh hey look, the little waterfall. You could have got it from the big waterfall in the other area. I didn't even think of that, but I'm gonna go see if I can find some fish. Oh you got fish in the other area, I think. Wait, what is that then? Hello. Oh that's, that's, a, a, that's, that's, a, that's a debris, never that's mind. That's a piece of plank. Jack <laughs> I'm, going this way. I'm going this way. Um, I. Wait, can I not go anywhere? I guess not. Did you get the other mushroom behind the rock? Behind the rock, yeah, I did. I wasn't paying attention. I All right, so I guess next... I was talking about my hot ex teach, Mr. DC. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he uh, he's was famous for being attractive too. He was like a new teacher when I came in, and congratulations. Damn it. Um, <laughs> at least I didn't lose by that much, which, by the way, was super painful. Fuck this game. Anyway, um... <laughs> we just started, Jesse. Sorry, a bit salt. I'm a bit salty. So is this water, I bet. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into that one. <laughs> There's a fish. There's a fish. Grab a fish. Here, one to fish. Fish. Where to fish? You just missed the goddamn fish. There I it fish. is. There it is. Grab the fish. Get the fish. Grab the fish. But yeah, yeah. And, how, and how the deal breaker between me and him was that he didn't like video games. And that's also kind of funny. It sort of puts you into the mind of, like, a younger me. I can understand dating me dating someone that doesn't that doesn't like like the same same video games as I do, but I don't know a single person who doesn't like any video games. Yeah, see that's what I never got. I mean like like it just it's like amazing how relevant they've become and actually next time on party next time on party play, we'll continue this talk probably. Yeah.